doctors say you need year-round protection. The CDC says only about 15% of men and 30% of women regularly use sunscreen. Now, the hot trend is edible what? sunscreens. <laughs> yes, edible. And it could make it easier to stay safe from the sun's harmful rays from the inside out. Dermatologist Dr. Janine Downey is here with how it works. Good morning. Good morning. Edible so sunscreen. Many, many yes. All morning we've been talking about this. How on earth does this work? <laughs> okay, so there's a product called HelioCare, and that is a supplement. It's an antioxidant supplement. It's anti-inflammatory, and it's photoprotective. So basically, you take it, and it helps to decrease your DNA damage. So it interacts with but your cells. But this is not the same as me putting on SPF 15 on my skin. No, it's not. So basically, this extends the length of your sunscreen by like an SPF of 4. So it's a supplement only. SPF 4? That's yeah. like, that's nothing. like that's nothing, nothing, right? Yeah, that's nothing. So you need a 30 or above every right. day, rain or shine, January through December, regardless of your ethnicity. Now, the company will say this is mm -hmm. not meant to replace the regular use of sunscreen, no, but we also know say, that yeah. right now these supplements do not require FDA approval. Right. The red flag right. just shot up right here. Yeah. Okay, so there are, so HelioCare actually has been in a bunch of different papers, so that's one that does have some benefits. There's others that are drinkable sunscreens, and we're not so sure what their benefits are. So I tell everybody. I mean, what, what, but doctor, if you drink something, wouldn't you just excrete it right out? I, uh, um, yeah, yes, you can. I mean, that's I'm just exactly saying, right. just, so, it just seems to me so that you would some drink pill, it and then. Some pill forms can a interact with your DNA, so they actually have actual antioxidants so in them. How does it work? I pop the okay. pill. How does it work? It actually <laughs> interacts with your tissue, and so you're you're not getting the level of damage and inflammation mm. that you would otherwise get with some forms that actually do have true clinical science behind them. You, That's why you have to speak to a board-certified dermatologist and not get snowed yeah, by I'm claims. a big fan of, of, of science. All of that. <laughs> yeah, science. Yeah, science, science is good. Yeah, thank you. I am too. So <laughs> bottom line, our, Thanks, yeah, our sunscreen regimen should be what? Um, Every single day you apply it 20 minutes before you leave the house so that it really sinks in. And then you need to reapply it if you're up here in New York every two hours. If you're down in Florida, in the Caribbean, it's actually wow. every one hour. And that's wow. a 30 or above every day on every exposed area of your body. Skin cancer is real. 4.2 million cases last year alone. We didn't even get to talk about the KFC. Oh, The KFC. Okay. Like, we got to sure. go, but we... I'm but not we, sure why, next, but yes. it's finger-licking good. Yeah. <laughs>